coming down the pipe on March 9th of this year, which is right around a month from now, Elementor is changing their pricing plans. And they're framing it as doing the best to accommodate users' growing needs. I don't think that description is accurate, and I'll tell you why in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Alpass from the WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. If you're on an existing active subscription plan, nothing changes for you, so keep that in mind. The new pricing will be like this. $49 for one site, $99 for three sites. Nothing's changed there. $199 used to be unlimited back in the day for $199. Then they reduced it to $1,000. Now they're reducing it to $25 for $199. If you want to run Elementor on 100 sites, it's going to be $500 a year. If you want to run it on 1,000 sites, it's going to be $1,000 a year. So it's going to be $1 per website at that level. And if you get Elementor Pro before March 9th of this year, you get to keep the current pricing, which as it stands right now, is no change for this one, 49 for one site, 99 for three sites, that'll be the same. The biggest change will be here. Currently it's 199 for a thousand sites. It's gonna be $1,000 for a thousand sites on March 9th. So if you're on the fence about getting Elementor, at least the expert plan, these ones haven't changed. So you can still get these next month and not have a price increase. But if you wanna get the expert plan, if you've been on the fence, this is the time to do it because you're gonna be grandfathered in at that lower price. In the description down below, you'll find an affiliate link to get the expert plan. If you buy through that link, it will not cost you more. I just get a small commission from Elementor and you'll be locking in a way cheaper price for the long term, as long as you keep your subscription active. And what I said earlier about how I don't believe that this is to best accommodate the user's growing needs, I think we're being accommodated just fine when it was 200 bucks for a thousand sites. In the Wayback Time Machine from early 2019, this is the Elementor pricing page. We're being accommodated just fine for $199 for unlimited sites. And I remember when they changed that to 1,000 sites, which is the current plan, there was uproar from a number of people. There's very few people who make 1,000 sites though, let's be honest. It was really the people who were reselling Elementor that were really taking advantage of this. Some agencies were, but I'm sure there's a lot of reselling going on. And so there's a bit of an uproar when this went down to 1,000 sites, but now 199 is going down to 25 sites, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a small explosion somewhere on Reddit, and it's going to be something. So why are they doing this? Well, to make more money, to get people who are on the fence right now about going expert, to push them off the fence and get them to buy expert could be why they're doing this. Also keep in mind, Elementor received $15 million in venture capital around one year ago, February 26, 2020, $15 million led by Lightspeed Venture Partners. The venture capitalists that invest $15 million is not charity. They want a return on their money. Either they want your company to go public in the future, or they want it to stay private and spin off a bunch of cash. More than likely go public though, but either way, they want to see the money. And so that could also be a reason why these new pricing plans are coming into effect. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And most other software also does get a little more expensive over time as it's built out. And if you get in early, you're grandfathered on the lower prices usually. But this is a huge jump from a thousand sites for 200 bucks to a thousand sites for a thousand bucks. That's a huge jump in cost. And it's likely due to the venture capital funding because they kind of guide the boat now. They have a lot of input because they just gave you a whole whack load of money. And I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here. I think this is a capitalism at its worst. Capitalism, I think, is a, a broken system. It might be one of the better ones that's out there right now, but I think it's broken because if you take Google, for example, they made a gazillion dollars last quarter, billions and billions and billions of dollars. And the investors are like, that's great. I just made some money because the stock went up and I want more. I want you to make more money next quarter, Google, or, or Apple or Tesla or whoever you are. The investors want you to keep making more money. But at some point, logically, a reasonable human says, at some point, you just can't make any more. Google sells ads. At some point, you've sold an ad to everybody on the planet and you've maxed out how many ads you can sell. So then you've got to find other shifty ways of making more money or develop new products. And Google right now is a lot of hot water because of the shifty things they're doing, and Facebook as well. 
all these tech companies who are constantly on this drive for more and more money to satisfy their investors. Full disclosure, I invest in some of these companies as well because, that's, I mean, that's what you do, right? You, you earn some money, you invest it, and hope it grows. But the point is, it can't go forever. And I think the, the goal of capitalism and the rewards are making more money. So if you make more money, your company is then worth more and the investors make more money. But what if capitalism was tied to that, but also tied to, are you helping the planet? Should companies be making money at the expense of their customers, at the expense of other humans on the planet? Should they be making money at the expense of the planet itself? I think those are the kind of questions we have to think about as a human race, because it's, it's not just about making money. Making money for money's sake is a very hollow endeavor. You have to have something else behind, some kind of other purpose to make it worthwhile. What the higher purpose for these companies could be, I don't know, but I think saving the planet could be a good one. And I think Elon Musk is a net positive in that regard. He seems to be taking the massive amounts of money he makes and putting them to good use, like electrifying the car industry, like developing SpaceX so humans can go to Mars and build a colony there because we're not saving this planet, so we might as well go to another planet and destroy that one too. Or hopefully we might learn some lessons and do better on the other planet. Either way, that's my rant. That's my rant on capitalism. And I live in a capitalist society. I earn money as well, and I spend money. And I have an iPhone, and the way iPhones are made is not necessarily great. I know all these things, but it just seems like it's a broken system, and that's my two cents. So the bottom line is, after that huge digression, Elementor price is going up March 9th for the higher level plan. For the expert plan, 1,000 sites is going from 200 bucks to 1,000 bucks. So if you're on the fence, get off the fence and buy it before the price goes up. And next up is checking out this tutorial right here where I test four different plugins to improve Elementor site speed and we find out which one works the best. And you're gonna be amazed because the price point for that plugin is free. That's right free. So that's pretty awesome. Check out that video. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos.